Alright, welcome back once again to the Truck and Ed channel. Guess what? I've got another new chainsaw today. This one was on clearance down at the Super Walmart, and I just broke my Poland Pro Pro Pulsar recently. So we're gonna unbox this one and see what's in it. It's supposed to be universal attachment. Okay, first comes the little deal. You lock it in, hang it up on the wall. I really like those. That way I can just hang them up on a hook in the shop. All right, now for the main attraction. Nothing else in the box? Set it to the side. All right, we have two cycle oil. Oh, never mind, my bad, that's bar and chain oil. Let me open up the package so I can show you everything. Instruction manual, we might keep that this time. Premium bar and chain oil. Most of it use comes from the tractor supply. Uh, a clip for a shoulder strap, that's a good idea. The uh, bar and chain range, boy look at this little bitty bugger. Isn't that the funkiest thing you ever did see? And then, oh cool, it comes with a shoulder strap. My other one didn't have that. All right, now let's open the main attraction. It's already assembled and everything. Well, that's kind of boring. But, oh, you can hear Chloe. Chloe wanted to be on the video, so she's barking in the background. And Isabel, she got yellow stick. Hey, this one comes with two poles. Let's have a look. I like this. Already pre-assembled, everything's all good. Now on this one here, you can see it's got, okay, apparently you gotta be smart to get this thing off. Wants to say here, got a little tag. Remove prior to using the tool and in Spanish and some other language. How in the world do you get this thing off of there? The little bar guide is kind of difficult. The little bar protector is kind of difficult to get off. All right, let's examine the chain. Looks like we've got a safety chain here. See the two depth guides and then one tooth. I kind of like that, that's, that's fairly interesting. All right. That's the adjustment thing right there that we're going to have to take off. Let me adjust the camera just a little bit. We'll see what that little tab does. Dead gone, that thing's on there tight. All right. I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Is all the sawdust going to be able to get all those little deals? Well, that's kind of a neat little deal. How in the world you get it off of there? Let's try getting a screwdriver and see if I can punch it out with a screwdriver. Hey, there it is. All right. Little clutch there. That's what the inside of it looks like. All right. Okay. Get it all back together in there. Get the chain tightened, tightened up. Hold it out. Stick it in there. Wriggle it a little bit. Now I'll put the nut on. I guess I'm just trying to do this in a hurry. Y'all can probably tell me in the comments that I need to read the book first. But what fun's reading a book when you can just discover how to do it while you're working on it. There we go, just about the right amount of tension. Now I'm gonna cinch this little bugger down. Since it's a single one, Probably have to tighten it up just as tight as I would. Okay, now, step number, whichever step we're on. Lock it into place. Tighten this little nut here down. I'm not sure how this two piece is gonna work out. Oh, and if you didn't notice, I got a new chainsaw, new steel. Had to break down by a good one. The china saw didn't quite work out like I'd hoped. All right, now I'm gonna get my four cycle weed eater out here. Let's see how big and long of a deal this thing's gonna be. It's supposed to universally fit everything. Oh, there she went, slipped right in. 
All right. She is all assembled, all put together. Woo! A little off balance there. She is all assembled, all put together. Next step is fire this thing up and do some cutting. Okay. All right, guys, here we are. We're getting ready to demonstrate it. Got my safety gear on, which includes hearing protection, safety glasses, and of course, the most important thing when running the pulse off, the face shield. Here we go. <laughs> Alright guys, here we are. The first go didn't work out. The little extender pole shaft broke plumb out. Now we're going to give it another shot. We got it going again, but a little shorter. So here we go again. All right, guys, here we are back at the workbench. I've taken the saw apart, figured out what the problem was. The problem is, you compare the ends of these two shafts. You see the saw shaft, the input shaft is flush with the end of the tube. On this one here, the input shaft is probably an inch down in there. What was happening, it would run when I put it together, but then when it raised up in the air, that shaft on the inside of the extension shaft would fall out of the saw, causing it not to run. I put the saw directly in the weed eater, as you can see, runs great. I'm pretty happy with it. It's got quite a bit of power. Why you need saw dogs on a pole saw? Anybody's guess, hey, they've got them. I'm using it on my uh, four cycle, Troy built 685 EC, and it runs, it seems to work great. So overall, $94 on clearance at the Walmart. I guess I'm pretty happy with it. I kind of had to have it. So y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching the channel and keep on trucking.